Um, good morning. Um, we are just getting up and out. It's around 1 o'clock. We got a late start today. As y'all can see in yesterday's vlog. We tried to drink that whole fish bowl. And yeah. Wasn't a good idea. I mean, we didn't drink the whole thing. We showed y'all what we have left. And then we took like two cups, which I got to like half of that cup. And I don't think we drank any at all. But never again. We woke up with a headache, feeling horrible. We're in our lift going to the jet boat where we get on and the boat go like really fast. And the water might splash us and everything. So, got on this top. I say, mind over matter. Short. Baby, I like your So, we just arrived here. Um, the lift person just dropped us off. Now we're looking at where we have to go. We're here a bit early. We're supposed to be here at 12.45. It is, it's 12.20, so we are here early. So we have a little bit of time to see exactly where we have to go. And this place do a lot of things. Let me show you all the boats and stuff. So they have multiple activities over here. We might do something else. And then tonight we're going to um, the Miami the basketball game. My husband want to go see Dwayne Wade. So yeah, we're going to that. That's at eight o'clock. Oh, it's so hot out here. Be careful what you wish for. We was back home where it was raining and just cold. He's like, you wish we had nice weather. And then we are here. And it's hot. We're here. Let's check in, and I will let y'all know. Look, here's the thing that we're going to be doing here. Got the 360 twist, the side drifting, high speed cruising. Whoa, that's going to be quite an adventure, but fun. I think it is. She said there's only one seat left. She said, oh, okay. yeah, we um just signed in and some girls here was nice enough to take a picture of us two together because we were trying to maneuver. Like, how can we take a picture? And some two girls saw us and, um, a picture for us probably because they wanted the picture too <laughs> um so yeah we are super thirsty and then we're walking down huh i know that is nice look at this i gotta get closer this right here yeah we are walking trying to find starbucks which i really don't even like starbucks that much but i might just get like a bottle of water because so i think it's too hot out here today to be trying to drink like a lot of sugary drinks so water it is for me they lied to us excuse me do you know where i can find this starbucks, starbucks. oh my god oh. <laughs> that's a lie they had us walk all the way down here thank you oh my god any boats in here yeah it might be a sad, uh, so they lied to us. They had us walk all the way down here. And there was no Starbucks. Like it's hot and I need some water. And there's no Starbucks. Like they said. Maybe it's up here? That's a restaurant or something. Excuse me, do you know if it's a, a Starbucks that way? Uh, the Starbucks is on the uh, for here. Inside the building? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So they didn't, I guess we walked past um, too far and it's inside the building. Oh my goodness, it's so hot out here. What is the weather today? You sweating. I'm not like hot. You sweating talking about you fine. I am. I mean, it's, like, it's not like hot weather in Jamaica. Yeah. It was hot there. Oh my goodness. And we went almost in October. It was like October when we went. And we thinking like, you know, it was going. It was going to be fine. Not realizing it was hot. It was like hotter in October than it was than it is in um, our summertime. So that was crazy, but it was nice. We had fun here. I didn't want to leave. I was about to cry because we had to leave. So, I think he meant inside here. Look at this Starbucks. Just about to walk right past. I didn't even notice the Starbucks. You want no more drinks today? Maybe not the whole time I'm here. <laughs> 
I definitely feel like we got like a little hangover this morning when I woke up. Like my head was like knocking. My head's still knocking. Mine's like coming in and out, not so much. Yeah, not because like coffee. You start hurting. I don't think you should drink no more of that water. You drank over half. You're gonna be going up and down. We we'll probably go over there like one. Okay. Do something about. I ain't trying to get I ain't trying to sit directly in the front. Are you want to in the front? Go directly in the back. Why? I'm scared. You scared? <laughs> we'll let you know which one it's gonna be now, folks. If you're gonna notice, you're gonna be. Go. Let me be 22. 22. You're gonna notice that you're gonna tease me. Why is it that you're first on the line? Why are you getting on last? Why they detaching you from the line? Safety, balance, weight, age, we all determine where you sit in this amusement ride. It is an amusement ride, bear with us. Now, the only thing we do keep intact is marriage. Marriage is a whole institution. I'm a priest in my church. I'm also a paralegal. I'm not going to go against the judge or the Lord to detach a couple. The rest of us guys, it's just a 30 minute amusement ride. We're not a church. We're not getting married. It's together. not the movie theater. I may have to take a group of people, four, two behind. Sinatra, Julio Iglesias, D D D the rapper, who? D D D, I've been watching you. <laughs> has the property next to the white bridge. The first property is gonna be the yellow mansion in between the palm trees that has a yellow canopy behind. That's the property of the Prince of Air, Mr. Will Smith from Bad uh -huh. Boys. From Philly. To the left hand side of Will Smith, you're gonna notice the corner of the home picking is a home on the construction. His neighbor is Ice Ice Baby 1990 Vanilla Ice Robo Van Winkle. He's still around, just not singing. Nick 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 <laughs> now from his property all the way around the corner now, we're going to have the biggest property on Star Island. The palm trees that you see are not coconut palms. These ones are called dates palms. They're brought in from South Africa at a cost of $10,000 each. Ooh. 53 of those palm Jeez. trees on the property. The owner pays more than $864,000 <laughs> a year on property taxes alone. This is an $80 million home. I'll be home by 10, mama. <laughs> This is the home of Dr. Philip Frost, CEO of Vibax, pharmaceutical company, the inventor of that little blue pill called Viagra. That's $80 oh, million dollars what? worth of Viagra. What a hero. <laughs> and that's what he said. There's a big problem, but a small solution. Now, everybody's happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> At the bottom floor, they have a fountain. It looks like a waterfall. We call it Viagra Falls. <laughs> Well, folks, uh, there's all the things to see in paradise, because in front of this property, I could go all night long. <laughs> with my jokes? <laughs> all night. <laughs> to the left-hand side of the vessel, we have an obelisk that's called Monument Island. The monument is dedicated to Henry Flagler. He brought the railroad system from Pensacola to the last Kituki. <laughs> in front of us, we have South Beach, the Art Deco district area. The next home is the two-story gray home. It looks like from a magazine. The owner used to own white diamonds. This is the home of beautiful Elizabeth Taylor. Oh. The bunny jumped in the primitive statue. Nice. is actually a gift from Michael Jackson. Her friend has a joke to commemorate Liz Taylor's hobby. Anybody know where her hobby was? Jumping from marriage to marriage. Oh. <laughs> Just like my mom. <laughs> my mom said that Miss Liz Taylor should be in the movie Marvels. I said, why mom? Well, if you could keep eight homes, eight marriages, eight husbands, that would make you Wonder Woman a superhero. I am. <laughs> well, guys, we're not here to look at houses. We're here to do tricks in the boat. Once we go to that bridge over there, that Temple Miami territory a playground, then we'll show you what this bad boy can do. On the meanwhile, you can all relax. <laughs> Off. It was really, really fun. Hold this one. Oh my goodness. This um salt from the water is like caked on my face. We almost dry. Like that's how hot it is. I think it's like what 87 today. So we drying super fast. Super fast. But it wasn't too bad at No, it wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be like a lot crazier, but it really was. It's up my wiggles go come. Oh my gosh, it felt like it. I was like, do I got my combs in? Because it's about to get crazy out here. We just got to like this um, marketplace thing. It was coming to the Hard Rock Cafe, but it's like a little um, outside mall. It's really nice here. They got like a lot of their, ugh, a lot of their, they got like a lot of um, bars and, yeah, you always was talking about going to Fat Tuesdays. Well, let's go to, um, yeah, it's a daiquiri bar. Yeah. So let's keep walking to the Hard Rock Cafe. There's a whole bunch of stores out here. Um, all kinds of clothing stores, restaurants, and everything. It's so live here in Miami. It's like literally a Friday. 
one o'clock or is it two o'clock? Like two, three o'clock, and people just taking shots, dancing, and everything else. I think. Huh? But you might be able to do it where we live at. You can't do it in Philly, but you might be able to do it in our city. No, I don't think you can. I think that's the whole state of Pennsylvania. You can't drink outside. Well, how are we supposed to? Mm. This is nice. Really nice. So we walk and making our way to the Hard Rock Cafe. It's nice out here. Look, y'all. Oh, look at that boat. That's what we doing tomorrow. I think this might be the boat thing we doing tomorrow. Look. Right there, that boat just pulling out. Maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, we going on like some other kind of boat sightseeing tour tomorrow. I gotta make sure I bring my hat. It's gonna be super hot. A hard rock cafe from this angle. Look, look like a boat, but then you can like sit outside and eat. You kind of what? Yeah, we um had a trip in Key West. Yesterday, it was like, uh, what? Three hour, four hour drive there and a four hour drive back. I think we was only spending like five hours in Key West. I mean, it'd be nice one day to just make a whole nother trip to Key West, but we're only here, you know, a couple of days. And that was gonna take our whole day tomorrow. So yeah, we canceled that. And plus, I didn't feel like sitting here four hours, coming back another four hours, and then going home on a plane, that's three hours. So that's too much like sitting and traveling. So yeah, we canceled that and we're gonna do something else tomorrow. But right now we are at the Hard Rock Cafe. Look at the background. This is our background of where we're eating. And I know we said we wasn't drinking no alcohol today, but these drinks look so good. So we might get one. We just can't overdo it. That fishbowl from yesterday. Whew, never again. That thing was $45, but it was worth it. Like, I don't know how many drinks. That's like six drinks in one. Probably more than that. Me either. You know, Miami, they not showing no uh, not alcoholic beverages. I feel so, I need to take a shower when I get back home. I'm like salty and look at my legs. Like, you, I can just feel the salt on me. Like, our drinks are here and I have this drink called the Hurricane. And this is it right there. Look like all the liquors right there in the bottom. And what you get? You got like a, like, ugh, a raspberry lemonade, non alcoholic. You're eating and talking. I forgot all about coming back on camera to show y'all our food. So I got the um, loaded nachos. I got steak, beans, llama beans, um, tomatoes, and what else? I think that's it. Um, and these hot peppers. Oh my god, they are so hot. I think these are the ones we gave Justin last time. Look at and he got the twisted mac and cheese, which he is almost done his. We forgot all about coming back. And also, we didn't show our appetizer, did we? I mean, it's going down. We have fries, these little uh, tomato bruschetta things, wings, onion rings, and what else do we have? And like uh, crispy chicken tender. So this is a lot of food. And this is all that I have left. I try to make a dent here. I don't even think I'm gonna finish this, so. Yeah, that's what we got. Still enjoying this beautiful view. It's a lot going on here in the background. Um, people are like doing jet skis and I think touring like on a boat and everything like that. So, hey y'all, so we are back at Oak Hotel. We're in a um, lobby where I'm gonna send them an email of our tickets for tonight. Um, we're gonna send them an email with um, our tickets so they can print out. Um, our tickets for the game tonight. This is what the lobby looks like. It is so pretty. It's giving me so much inspiration to do my living room over. Let me just show y'all. So I'm so tired um, about this Lyft driver. Oh my goodness. Next time we come on vacation, I'm so tempted just to um, just rent a car. Like we just had like really bad experiences with these Lyft drivers. It's either they can't speak English or um, you know they're just not driving safely. And then this guy that we had, he could speak English, but he was just like getting super personal. Like, um, at first he was just like, okay, what area is y'all from? So we told him. Um, and then he's like, well, what do you do for a living? And um, 
you know, like, it was just asking a lot of questions. I just felt like next week's going to say, well, how much you get paid an hour? And I don't know. Like, the whole thing was just weird. And um, he almost got into, I don't know how many accidents. So, yeah. It was like, if you rate them three or below, you won't get that Lyft driver again. We, um, my phone ended up dying here earlier. And... I thought this was one of your girlfriends. I didn't know who she was. We in a whole different now, city. You okay back then? You yes. okay? Uh-huh. Yes. I didn't know who we she was. We in a whole before. different city, 13 hours away, and this lady stop him. What you doing here? I thought this was one of his girlfriends. Well, greet him. What you doing here? I had no clue who she was at first. You I, didn't? I thought this was the wrong person. <laughs> I had no clue who she was at first. She had too much makeup on. Oh my goodness. I'm looking like I was looking at your face when she was saying, what you doing here? You was looking so confused. <laughs> I'm like, dude, did she think he was Reese or somebody? Then when she said she's talking Because I mean, wait, him and his brother look like twins. When she said she's talking about brother, then it clicked that, that that was actually, I thought it was her. I'm like, it can't be her. She, I, I don't know when she got, I don't know where she got this skinny in two weeks. She's skinny? But no, her, her arms and stuff is extremely skinny out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I looked at the picture. But I think she actually is. It's not capitious. Yeah, she looks skinny. Her arms, is, her arms is like skinny. I guess so. She work at your job? Mm-hmm. What she do there? I don't know. She wanted to see me. Oh. I had no clue she was. I ain't want to blame. I would have blame. Well, good thing you sat there and was just looking for a while. Then you figured out who she was. Because I could tell you had no clue who she was. So, yeah, we are on our way to the game. It's good traffic so far. It's not too backed up. We are down at the game. Our Uber driver was really nice. Whoa, look at all these people. Cheech, is that the line to get in? Yeah, we would have never got over there. And he, and I feel bad like getting out. We got out in the middle of traffic, y'all. Like right over there. That traffic not going nowhere. No time soon. So we just jumped out into traffic. I think everybody taking like a lift and the Uber here. And people start getting out, and we were just looking at each other like, uh, we should get out and walk because those cars not going nowhere no time soon. But um, yeah, we here. It's so many people. Huh? We can't go right now, it's or can we? It's cops out here. I want to go. You too scared? Like you're scared jaywalking. To go? Ticket. I mean, we ain't jaywalking. We are run. Uh.